Robin here with the Robin Realty Group. Uh, joining us today, like always, is Scott. Scotty Pie, buyer specialist extraordinaire, uh, here for our fifth episode of Wine Wednesday with no wines. Um, I will tell you who we brought to you by, but nobody brought us any wine today. So, hint, hint, 110 title GMF ads, bring us some wine. We appreciate it. Uh, anyway, so our question today came from Melissa. Her, her question was, aren't the sellers supposed to pay for the buyer's closing costs in the contract? So, what do you think about that, Scott? Technically, they're not supposed to, <laughs> but we would love for the seller to help us out with closing costs. Yes. So, it depends on the type of market, it depends on the house, um, in regards to what the buyer and what the seller is going to pay for. So, in today's market, which is a seller's market, no, the buy seller is probably not going to pay for the buyer's closing costs. If we were in more of a buyer's market, in the se yes, and you would see the seller paying for the buyer's closing costs, or allowing some kind of allowance, you know, Typically, what do you what do you say? I mean, you work with so Scooty Pie works with all buyers, so like you said, it's a seller's market, so you're not getting much off the price. Right. So when you need, you're not getting much off the price, and you need closing costs, which is a bonus for the seller to pay. Mm -hmm. You know, always it's you're getting a bit closer to less price. Right. But everyone has a price point, so it's yeah. not that they don't want to help you. It's almost like maybe they can't help you. And right. That's gonna. So, it's yeah. a tough, it's a tough situation you, you can battle. Right, so sellers and my sellers are going to tell you, if I list a house for 200000 yeah, that's the offer I want. Bring me an offer at 200000 Do not bring me an offer at 200000 plus closing costs, plus a home warranty. No, of course I'm going to negotiate that. If this is a house, uh, you're buying a house and you need um, assistance with closing costs, you'll see sometimes that they'll roll it into the price. So instead of paying $200,000 for a house, you may be paying two oh five for a house with five thousand dollars in closing costs. But remember this: we are having issues right now. You have to remember that the house has to appraise. So if you're rolling in, so to say, five thousand dollars in closing costs, we might say, "Hey, guess what? In this market, prices are continually rising. The appraisals are not catching up with it yet. So this is the price. Here's your appraisal value." You might, the appraisers are, are sometimes coming in a little short because the appraisers can't keep up with the market. So, um, and, and overall, it's just a really tough thing. I mean, we're, we're conditioned now that we, you know, we get great loans out there. So mm -hmm. it's just, we're not saving as much money in today's world as we used to back in the day. So it's the deal you're looking for, you know, back in the day, if someone's at 200,000, we're not offering 180. Yeah, because no, put yourself as a buyer, put yourself in their situation. You're selling your house. You want somebody? You're going to take an offer twenty thousand dollars off plus another five thousand to closing. You're probably going to say no. No, and they are, and that's what sellers are saying. So if you're coming in, the house is listed at two hundred thousand dollars, and you want to get that deal and offer them one hundred and eighty thousand, the the seller is going to just send you a rejection nicely and say, "Doesn't seem like we're going to realistically meet." On a price because my price is two hundred. And then go back to the closing costs. So there's different ways in 2016 to get a deal. You know, my job for you is to keep as much money in your pocket as possible. Mm -hmm. um, that twenty thousand you think you're getting off, that's eighty dollars that you're getting off your monthly note. So let's think yeah. about it. Over time, over thirty years, you're probably going to refinance. Mm -hmm. That money's going to be recuperated some kind of way. So the deal is, let's keep six thousand dollars in your pocket, still get a good monthly payment. Mm -hmm. And then that's your deal. Yeah. So there you have it. If you have any other questions about today's market and any other questions about closing costs or how Scott or I or anyone on the team can help you with your home sale or home purchase, give us a ring, 985-778-2525. Thank you.